Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. It is time to jump back into Empires of the Undergrowth. I think it's been a little while. We had our first bash at the Fire Ant levels. We were going to go back and do them on Hard and Insane and all that stuff. Haven't quite got there yet, but it is on my list of things to do. Don't worry, as you may have seen, there haven't been a lot of videos on the channel recently. If you are waiting for a VR video, waiting for the VR series to continue, a little bit of bad news in that I tried again today uh, to record a VR video and my PC crashed again. I have now ran out of troubleshooting ideas completely. So I'm going to be RMA in my power supply in the vague hope it's the power supply. Not entirely convinced, but I'm running out of things I can really blame it on. So I'm going to RMA. I've already been in contact with the supplier and hopefully that'll source all the issue. But that's going to take probably, you know, a good couple of weeks to, to get, back at, get back to me. If they decide there's anything wrong with my existing one, they might test it and say it's absolutely fine. You're supposed to be back the same one, in which case... Uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I don't know what I'll do. But for now, all flat screen stuff, all pancake stuff seems to be fine. So M Empires should be absolutely fine. So, if we're not doing Fire Ants today, what are we doing? Well, there has been an update to the game. And finally, after, I don't know, 48 years has it been? Something like that. Finally, the Velvet Worm has been added to the game. It has been added to the 3.x levels. It's been added to the uh, all the other stuff as well, to free play and all that. It's in all of those things. Um, <clears throat> from the little bit of blurb from the email I got, it's a long creature with the ability to spray slimy glue at its enemies that slows them and comes in three sizes of varying strength. And I liked the reason they said that they had to delay it so much was because, um, because it moves so weird. Apparently their animator had so much, like, not trouble, but it took him so long to get it right that that's one of the reasons why it's delayed so much. As well as the Velvet Worm, we have a new level, a new standalone level called Adventure, which is a, a leaf cutter level where you can upgrade and stuff. So I don't know what that's, that's what we're going to do today. We'll take a look at that in a minute. There is also, and I might do a separate video on this just so we can see what it's like. There is also a tutorial now, and you also notice this wonderful new screen. So the main menu just has play settings and credits on. That's all it's got now. And then when you hit play, you get this beautiful modern block menu, which looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. I particularly love this picture here for the story with the um, the mantid wasp, is it? On the, on the picture plan. I think that's an absolutely gorgeous photo. That's amazing. <clears throat> so the tutorial mode, yes, it's about 10 to 15 minutes. Goes over digging, hatching, pheromones, combat, all that sort of stuff. Uh, the one levels in the story, the uh, da, 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 da. the one point X levels. Where are we? This one. Here we go. These have now got their own tile set, so they no longer use the beach underground tile set. You use the wood, the rotten log tile set. Woody, crumbly textures added for the rotten log environment. I might just uh, just jump into one, and we'll just take a quick look at that. We're not going to do the mission, I just want to... Oh, look at that! Straight away! That looks really nice! Genuinely looks like you're in a, in a log, doesn't it? That's nice! I'm a big fan of that! Big fan of that! Oh, that makes a huge difference! Even the outer texture there, look! And there is plenty around. Oh, that is gorgeous! That is gorgeous! That is gorgeous! Anyway, um, so there's that! And then there's a few other little things. Extra level for Tug of War 2 has been added for beta testing. Um, but I'm not part of the beta testing, so I don't think we have access to that. Because we've got the Battle Arena, extra levels, demo levels, demo levels for everything up to Promised Land, which was the Fire Ant demo level they did for Gamescom or something like that. And then the extra levels over here, including the new one, Adventure. Uh, camera rotation buttons are bindable. There's a few other little things. It's just you know, added thumbnails to demo levels, blah, blah, blah. And then a few fixes and stuff. But the, the, the headlines, the big things are the Velvet Worm being added to free play and to the 3.x levels. Uh, the new 1.x texture for underground, which looks amazing. The new adventure level and new tutorial. So without further ado, we'll do medium adventure. Estimated time, one and a half hours. Okay, wasn't expecting that, but that's fine. Complete objectives to level up your leafcutter colony, unlock and upgrades, abilities, and more. Explore the jungle to open up new areas of the map, revealing more leaves to plunder and dangerous tasks to face. I did immediately move my mouse down here, assuming this would be the play button. Well, it, is, it, is, it does make sense with it being down there as well, but yeah, I, I immediately went... Whoop. So yeah, it's there. Right, so let's have a look at this. I don't know if you also noticed, but if you are 
Uh, this video will be out on the Saturday. I don't know if it will still be there, but I noticed that the Hungry Spider web was on the um, on the map there, on the on the title screen, so you can always check that out. I cannot zoom out very well. That's because it's just a huge leafcutter queen. I forgot how redonkulous she is. Look at the size of her. Look at the size of her. Oh my word, has she been redone since I last saw the Leafcutter Queen? I mean, I suppose I haven't done a Leafcutter level for so long, actually. Yeah, I completely forgot that she is, uh... Gargantuan is the word I'm gonna go with. So the entrance is up there, we've got some free food over here by the look of it. So let's start heading over in this direction, maybe we'll make a chamber on the way. Uh, it's been so long since I've done leaf cutters, I've got what I really need to sort of do. Um, oh, we need, yeah, we need storage and we need refuse. Refuge? Refuge? No, refuse. I was right the, right the first time. <laughs> oh, I almost gave myself a coffin fit by being just so funny. Right, so let's, um, let's just think. We do that. That's a, that's a chamber of seven, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's get some leaf cutter ant workers down. If we come over here, we'll get this. Whatever that happens to be. We need some leaf storage that we will put over here somewhere. And then we need refuse. I think we'll put the refuse over here. Which is a little bit of a jaunt to get over there, but I think that'll be a, a decent spot for it. It's, 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 it's a... Suitably far distance away is sort of what I was going to try and say then. We'll dig that out for leaf storage right there. So they have leaves down here. We don't have any leaf storage. We'll get some of that down right now. The first one, as always, is free. Same with the refuse. The first refuse tile you can put down is always free. So we need to reveal the map. Unearth all underground creatures, which is medium. And then grow the colony to 30 creatures, which is easy. So I guess these are different um, objectives and we'll get XP for doing them. I'll send these guys over there so they can start thinking about... Uh... Yes, we've got no food, but we do need... To... And I don't know what this is. Oh, that's the actual XP bar. Okay. Yeah, there we go. They're starting to get some leaves now, which is what I wanted to see. Maybe should have put like a leaf store a little closer, but I mean, it's, we're going to want it down here eventually, aren't we? When we go when we go outside, so that makes sense to me in that regard. <clears throat> we'll see if it continues to make sense or not. Right, how much do these cost? Twenty food. Okay, so we've got a little while to wait for that. Let's pop down. How much do refuse tiles cost? Five food. Oh, because it hasn't been turned into food yet. Right. Yeah, leaves get turned into food, don't they? Getting myself very confused. And this is the food over here, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I've completely forgotten how the leaf cutting mechanics worked, apparently. Yeah, so they gather leaves, put them in the leaf store. It'd be nice if the leaf store had a different texture to the general food store, I think. Anyway, then the leaves get taken by the, uh, the minims. And they get put onto the tiles to grow into food. I'm remembering now, remembering now. It's all coming back. It's all coming back, it's all coming back to me now. Right, get a couple more refuse tiles in there. Wonderful. And then we'll just wait, collect these leaves and get some more. I might pop these over like that. So we've got seven going over to get the food. That probably makes a lot of sense to me. I don't know how you got poisoned. Oh, because you went and did the, put the tiles down. That's fine. Okay. It's all right. I've sorted it out. I understand. I understand how the game works now. Still can't get over how big she looks. That's ridiculous. So what have we got? We've got some little ones down here. Little one there, a bigger one there. A couple of little ones, groups, big one. A couple of singular medium ones. And then this is gonna be the chamber of death up there, I'm guessing. There's quite a, lot, a big open space, this underground area. There's not a lot of these um, impenetrable walls to concern ourselves with, which is nice. Come on, one more food, one more food, one more food, one more food, <laughs> one more food! Just 
starting to run mildly low on this food source down here, these leaves. Uh, am I not? I am not showing that. Okay, let's turn. What is this? This is... Don't care about that. And that's the health. Okay, let's leave all that on. <clears throat> so I think that'll be actually quite useful. I love that they're dropping it and immediately Minim's like, No! No, I need the leaves! I shall bring them back with me over this way. We might be able to get... I'm assuming we won't get... Oh, yeah, we get those when we get 30 XP. Yeah, I've just clicked how this is working. <laughs> it's only taking me, what, like 10 minutes to figure it out? It's fine. It's fine. I wonder how much XP the reveal in the full map gives you. Hmm. Uh, let's start growing this into a 19 size uh, group. I do have a bit of a dry cough thing going on at the moment, so I am trying to mute as and when the uh, the, 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 the tickling urge comes up. If I do miss it, and if you, ever, if you hear any, or if there are any odd pauses, or if you do hear any coughs sneak through and I miss them in the editing, um, then you, apologies for that. I will do my best. I will endeavour to keep your your, uh, your ears pure and clean. Right, we're out of food down here now, so we're going to have to start venturing outside. So let's swap these two over, because there'll actually be more of these now. Let's start digging this one out. Uh, refuse is a bit of a problem. Let's start digging out some more of this, I think, in preparation. Right, we have outside. I wish I could do a proper pause, but you can't really, can you? Um, gather 300 leaves, clear all creatures near the nest entrance. I don't know what it classes as near the nest entrance. Oh, hold up. Wait, I pressed the wrong button. I panicked. That's the velvet worm, right? That is our first sighting of this gorgeous little thing, really. I mean, the, the number of legs probably put a lot of people off, but I love the little, like, sort of, like, ribbed texture to it. Which I'm guessing is why it's called... No, it's called a velvet run because it gets scratched like a glue out, but it looks... looks like a soft corduroy, corduroy worm. There's our first... our first ever velvet worm that's awesome so there's loads of food around here there's also lots and lots of creatures that we're going to need to start trying yeah, to take out fight. except most of them are ignoring this fight completely we're doing we're still going to do an okay for food we've got a lot of leaf in which will end up being a lot more food bum, 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 bum. So is there anything we can do to get the 30 XP for this quicker? Growing to 30 creatures isn't going to help us. What did that do? What? We got that just for killing something. Oh. Oh, well, that changes things. That changes things a little bit. I hoped you were all going to go over there and get involved in the fight, to be honest. But that's fine. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. So we got 18 XP just for killing one of those. That's pretty good. I will probably get the full 19 down here before we worry about actually getting any of the the soldiers. Level 1, minor speed has gone plus 50. I don't know what that means in the general context of things. Oh, so we didn't unlock that. We've just gone, that's just our general level. So we don't know what we're, I thought that was going to show us what we're about to unlock. That is not the case. <coughs> Ah, so clear all the creatures. That three, I thought that was maybe like the XP you got for it. No, that's how many creatures there are. I just saw the this number here ticking up, look. So it wants us to get another three creatures. So one, two, and the Velvet Worm to get that one. That's fine. We can do that. Uh, leaf stores are full. So we could do with expanding the size of the leaf store. And looking at upgrading it as well. We did do this down here. Let's just get all this refuse down as well. Oh, I don't have any food now for the leaf store. Ha 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 ha. We will soon. We will soon. I wish they were cleverer about this. Because they're all, they've are all they done these tiles first. So these guys up here have to walk through the refuse and get poisoned. I wish they were a bit cleverer about how they did it.
And we'll have to upgrade the refuse at some point as well, because that really helps how fast it clears out um, stuff. For now, oh, we've gone up another level. Minor 20 health. Don't know if that's going to help so much for the miners. Oh no, that's the minimums. These are the miners, aren't they? I got myself confused. Oh no, that's the worker, so these are the miners. Oh, I don't know then. So we now just have to gather more leaves as the next stage of that mission, so the missions kind of escalate a little bit. We do need to start thinking about getting some of these... Uh, if I turn off their food gathering for a minute... And then let's come down here and clear out this dude, and we'll clear out this dude. Maybe we'll go get the Velvet Worm as well. Oh, now we're attacking both at once though, which is less than... Oh, we're okay, we're okay now, we're okay now. So it's less than ideal, but everything's working out fine now. Get those three down, and then we'll start to start another uh, Chamber of 19 somewhere. We'll put like a little path up here, I suppose, because down here is quite empty, isn't it? Let's turn their food gathering back on. We may as well send them uh, back over this way, I suppose. So, no, this is actually closer. Let's go over here. Let's get the closest stuff first. Let's be sensible about this. And then when we, maybe once we've got all 19 hatched, we'll go after the Velvet Worm and see how that's going to go for us. All right, let's get these down, and let's also do a big upgrade, which is going to cost us in terms of um, health and poison and stuff. It's also going to cost us because it didn't have enough to do all of them at once, which is a bit of a pain. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. So that's the path that'll go between these two chambers. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's where the next one will be. Uh, when you see the. Uh, I, I tried talking then. When you see these numbers. That's because I'm pressing control or not on my keyboard, which mutes my microphone. So when you see that come up, that's you know I'm having a bit of a cough at that point. <laughs> In case you were wondering. I'm going to turn their food gathering off. I'm going to bring them over here. Because I'm guessing we can take out a Velvet Worm with 19, uh, 19 workers, right? That's got to it's got to be doable. And then... Well, we won't do any quite yet in case we need the food to hatch a whole bunch over here. Let's go and have our first Velvet Worm fight. I'm assuming this is the smallest Velvet Worm as well. Oh, look the at that! Must fight. It's like splodged them with its goo. Oh, poor little thing. Level 4, minor damage, plus 1. That's what all these are saying here. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, just turn your food gathering back up, back on even, and we'll uh, send you sort of down here to start doing that. A few of you will go for those, that's fine. Grow the colony to 30 creatures, unearth all underground creatures. We'll have to start doing that at some point soon, and gathering leaves as well, that'll just happen au naturel. Oh, we had just enough to get another group of 19 down. That was perfect. That was perfect. That is going to massively increase the uh, wastage we have. So we'll upgrade these a little bit more. Get a couple more upgrades in the leaf storage, just in case we need it. Those seem to be doing okay. But if I recall correctly, upgrading these, does it say down here? Where does it say? Is it, does it say when you go to upgrade them? I never really hover over them long enough to, to worry about it. I'll just say there, 960. 960. 870. 69510? I don't know. I've got no idea what that means. Uh, how many things are attached to it? How many you need to upgrade it, perhaps? I don't know. But yeah, so um, they do process faster. They don't just store more waste. They process waste faster when they're upgraded, which is why I made a point of uh, upgrading them. These guys are a bit stuck down here. We'll finish off gathering the food that's down on this sort of same level of us. We'll ignore these for the... Oh, look at this beast! Look at this beast! Yeah, we'll get these easy plants and these ones over here. These guys are just... These trap jaws are just hanging out. Is that a trap jaw? trap jaw nest up there. 
I can't actually go up any further than that. That's the highest I can scroll upwards. See, we'll clear out as much of the food down here as we can. Does the tide recede here? You have to assume it does, and when it does, we're going to have to go straight down there. So there's a big old X on the mini-map here. I don't know if it refers to this one. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. It's almost like the map is zoomed in wrong, isn't it? Like, I can go really far off the side here. Look, look, my view bit goes much further off the side than this would... Health for the med medias now. Okay, so now we're now we're, oh we actually got medias right. Okay, so that's what we really need to be thinking about. Where can we, where can we fit these in? Uh, number three to start. <laughs> still went wrong. I'm not too worried about a path between them because we can still come down here to get down to this area. So let's start getting some medias in here. Then we might have to go up here to get this group. And we are at some point going to have to start thinking about actually going and... Uh... I see you. I can't remember what they did, what their, their thing was. So what have we got now? We've grown to 30 creatures. We've gathered 300 leaves. We've cleared all the creatures. We've gathered 1,500 leaves. We now need to grow the colony to 100 creatures. We're already up to 45, so that's not too bad. It's about to go up a bit substantially when I get all these down. Oh, the map's just got bigger, look. The map's just got much, much bigger. But I still can't scroll beyond these. I can scroll all the way over here. I can scroll over here, but I can't go up very high. So that's got to be some sort of limitation in the game, hasn't it? Weird. Right, let's add these to this group, and then let's head downstairs and start tunneling out these creatures. We're going to go down here first. I know there are a number of exclamation marks there where there are some standalone ones and twos, but I'm not too worried about this little group, to be honest. I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. Yeah, the map suddenly looks very busy, doesn't it? I can't see what's going on up there with the trap jaws either. Very annoying. Very annoying. Oh, these have got stars on them. Does that mean they're yes, a higher must level? Defend themselves. So they've been upgraded in the same sort of way we can upgrade our ants. That's interesting. Right, it's the first lock down. What else have we got? We've got this little dude over here. Let's just carry this on over here. Start digging out towards that one. We also have this little bit down here, so we'll start digging down there as well. Just one on his own. You have got absolutely no chance, yeah, mate. Must defend themselves. Might as well go over here, I suppose. It's unsurprisingly just a couple of those larvae. We'll get rid of those quick sharp. Almost at a leaf store, which is a mild pain. We do have a lot of food in store because of the way that it works, but I would like to have some more leaf. We just don't have a lot around our base at the moment, do we? Where are we going to go next? Probably going to have to try and take care of this velvet worm, right? Or we go up here, where we've got to fight these other leaf cutter ants, which could be a problem for us. I didn't know there was a leaf cutter colony over there, actually, because uh, their queen isn't on the map. Look, that's frustrating. Uh, we've gone up Pearson for the medias, which is lovely. Maybe we'll try and take out the big velvet worm. We've got fairly big. If we can get the other, uh, if we can get this chamber finished off, which we can't. That is all of our food gone. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get all of them with our relatively small army at the moment. We might have to go for this this big old velvet ant. Because if we can get rid of velvet worm, sorry, if we can get rid of him, there's a lot of food over there for us. A lot of food, which would be very, very yes, helpful. Must defend themselves. We do have some piercing damage now and extra health. And we unlocked the medias as well. Let's try this big thing over here, whatever this is. Because if we can't get rid of this, we're not going to be able to get rid of the velvet worm, are we? Quite frankly, my dear. It's a little cramped. They are starting to surround it now, which is good. We are going to be able to take care of it. I don't think we're losing too many either. Our waste went really, really... Oh, we got rid of it and it did us a huge XP boost. We may as well carry on up there then, I think. And up there, why not, right? It's a little tiny velvet worm. It's a little tiny velvet worm. And really, the big one's where it's going to be at, right? I forgot what it is to, to carry it on, like, time moving when you were zoomed in like that, so you could see it, see its little attack animation. What I also haven't done, actually, even after I mentioned the fact that it was, like, a, an animation... Not issue. But look at it. Look at his little legs go. I, don't, I paid no attention to the actual animation, the moving animation, which caused the problems in the first place. Oh, that was like a... That was a big one, and we absolutely pulverized it. Oh, let's go outside. Should we go outside or should we finish it? We should probably try to finish the, uh, the inside off, right? Let's do that. Feeling very confident now about that velvet worm. We're going to absolutely destroy him. Oh, saying that, we don't have much food at all. So maybe we'll take care of these baby whip spiders. And then we'll go out and try and get some of this food and take it. I might put these in their separate attack group. Maybe this, this might have been a mistake, actually. This might have been a bit of a mistake. Because that's our food gone now. We will definitely beat them, but we're going to be left a little short. Which is not really what I want. We did go up a level, though, which is something. So this group, we're going to make this our attack group. They're going to turn their attack off. Uh, turn their food gathering off, sorry. These guys, the uh, the food gathering group, will turn their, um, turn their attack off. For now, I'm going to turn their food gathering off as well. And we're just going to watch and see how these guys do against this beast. I think I caught him mid-spray. Oh, just about. Oh, look at that. It's like mid-spray in the air. Looks like he's got two little, little poopy eyes. Ah, oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Love it. Love it. Right. They're not fair into us, just because they're being, they're being glued, I suppose. Maybe when it kicks off, they do a bit better, but he's taking them out. So I'm going to turn the attack on. Turn the food gathering off for both of them, sorry. Turn the attack on for the first group, and they're going to come in and... Oh, no, actually, they did it. They did it. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone gather food. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, the enemy leaf cutters have come down. This could be a problem for us. This could be a big old problem for us. It doesn't look like there's too many of them, but they are also massing up here, ready to come down for the next attack look. So I'm going to turn the food gatherer off for the second group again. And we're going to station them probably over here. Well, no, first of all, they need to come and take care of the ones that are there, I suppose, don't they? So our poor little workers are being destroyed there. We did get some leaf down, which is good. But everyone's just involved in these fights now. Looks like they've sort of given up and they've gone to uh, get the little bit that's over. Oh, nope, they haven't given They definitely haven't given up. Okay.
Let's move the twos down here and try to intercept these ones to stop them coming straight for the workers. Well, that one gave up. He looked down at this fight and went, nope. I ain't getting involved in that, mate. No, thank you very much. Just trying to make sure that they don't uh, sneak past at all, but I think we're okay. Oh, we get to select a unit option. Uh, the taunt or the stun? I think we tended to go with the taunt, didn't we? Does that mean we're about to unlock the majors? It does. They are exceedingly expensive, though, and I don't think we're going to be able to afford them for a little while yet. But the ones over here, though, they can do wonders with ripping all of this to shreds. I'm actually going to move them onto a separate group up there. Turn their, uh, turn their attack off. They can start working on that plank. So the ones are pretty much done with that one. We're going to start moving those a little bit further forward into this forest down here. The twos are still attacking the leaf cutters. Ah, uh, we can see the queens just popped up on our radar now. Look, and there's a giant, or maybe a couple of giant whip spiders down there. You can see why this level is going to take uh, a couple of hours, can't you? Let's finish off that. Uh, group of 19 over there. We do have this area to work with. I don't know if I could get a sensible 19 out of it, but That is maybe where we'll put our majors or we have this area now as well, don't we? You yeah, are just getting a constant stream of XP from this, which is quite nice But we are also about to get our asses absolutely destroyed by this rather large group of medias medias that have come over um, how we doing? Ones are doing okay. We might need to get another gather group going, I think, maybe. If I send the twos like there, no, that might bypass that. I need, I need them to finish that plant off. Yep, the, the medias have been... Oh, no, 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 no. That's what I did wrong. That's what I did wrong. Because it's the threes. It's the ones and the threes. Threes go over there. And one's head down in that sort of direction. Tragic, tragic. Is the, wa the water still there? It's not going down anytime soon. Looks like the leaf cutters are making their way over here. Our medias are still doing quite well here, actually, holding them all off, I think. They're doing a pretty, pretty cracking job. Crack a lacking. I might, before we think of getting majors, I might update the, upgrade the, the medias a bit. That might serve us better in the long run. Well, that's my leaf now, my friend. That's my leaf now. And really, we're just cutting them off from their food supply completely with these medias here. Doubt we've got enough to take them on, but maybe we'll give it a go. If we just keep whittling them down, just start moving our way ever so slightly closer. I keep pressing the wrong ones. Threes are doing okay over there, as long as they don't get too close to them. How is this nest doing? They're okay, but they're, they're trap jewels, so they'll be on the hunt rather than looking for leaves. So all of this leaf up here is basically free. Basically, it's free for us. Let's get some more upgrades down. And that'll give us our first level three here as well, once they're all done. Oh, there we go, lovely. So we're already holding them off quite convincingly, and now we're just upgrading in front of their very eyes. How does that feel, suckers? Let's move the ones up slightly from where they were. Perfect. The Major's just got a bit of a speed boost that we still don't have any. Are we going to want a full 19 majors, I suppose, is the question. Do we just want to put them, like, up here? I 
That's slightly annoying, but we could have like an entrance way there, I suppose, and then another one like down here. Ugh, oh, let's do it. But I, like, I'm still going to focus on getting these upgraded first, I think. <clears throat> Keep just pressing forward little by little. And I know the enemy does like cheat somewhat in in ways, so they'll have they'll have food resources even if they haven't been gathering leaves for quite some time. That's just the way they work. more upgrades to level three another one there another one there that'll give us these two as well lovely 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 that's a full seven of level threes we won't go too much further what is this now durable all incoming damage reduced by three or shockproof cannot take more than 20 damage in a single attack uh, we'll go with durable, I think. I don't know if there's enough. There probably will be bigger things later on, but right now I think durable is going to do us better. One start heading up this way. Threes, I guess, start heading over here. I don't want to head up that way quite yet. Wait. I don't know what I just did then. I sent the twos over here. Oh, one's over there. That was just a misclick on my part that time. One's over there. The threes are getting a little bit of this, but we're running out of food for them to get, really. I don't see a way up. Oh, I do see a way up there, but it's absolutely rammed with, uh, with larvae. But we could probably... Oh, I don't know if we could sneak over there. We might be able to, but it's not a lot of food for the, uh, for the effort you put in. It's a little bit over there. Otherwise, we need to start thinking about heading up here. Let's see if we can wipe out. Oh, wait, no. Something's going on. I want to try and sneak our way down here and actually get into their nest, I think. I think that's what the plan is. I know we don't have a lot on us, but it might... I mean, it might just be enough. I'd be quite surprised if it is, but you never know. Mm -mm. Leave that at that. I don't want to go too crazy. Right, let's head into their nest. What have we got? What have we got? Immediately got majors. They've got a massive group of majors in there. We took. Care are they majors or are they just big medias? No, they are definitely majors. They're huge. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so they've got lots waiting to hatch, a huge refuse pile, no leaves. So they are a little low on food. We don't know what upgrades the queen's got. I can't remember if the, the, the... Do they get your standard speed upgrades in here or not? I can't remember. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's, that's where I am. For a second there, I was like, that's, I thought that was my nest and I was getting attacked and I was freaking out. Right, so the ones and threes are largely done out here. I might send the ones down here because there's a little bit of extra food. The threes, let's send them down here. And they can start gathering this. I'm even going to turn on the gathering of the medias as well for in the short term. So I want to clear this nest out as quick as we can. Uh, eliminate army ants, zero of 160. We've eliminated the opposing leafcutter colony. That that wasn't, didn't even pop up. I wonder if that's because it popped up as we went inside, maybe. Um, clear the southern rise, which is going to be this bit here. And there is a lot up there. Uh, eliminate the army ants, 160. Eliminate the uber jumping spider. <clears throat> I don't know where he is. I've not seen him anywhere. The ants will fight to the death. We're not fighting very much, surely, though, right? I think the, the Minims, I think, are coming up as enemies, are they? Oh no, the, the enemy has hatched a bunch of... How on earth did that happen? How on earth did that happen? How did they hatch a bunch of... 
Because now they've got the minims will be taking leaves out of here and processing them. They might potentially, although so it's saying that we've lost most of their nest chambers, so we should be fine. So there's only one minim left because there's one nest chamber, and then they're dead. Okay. Oh, we've got lots and lots and lots of food. Let's start upgrading some more of these. We could probably just get them all upgraded. Seeing this is not much of a threat at the moment, he says, fingers crossed. Still on 500 food. I don't know if we're actually going to have enough to quite do all of them, unfortunately. I mean, it's close. It'll be there soon. We do need to get some speed tiles in, though, don't we? Speed tile, speed tile, speed tile. We've got lots and lots of refuse, though. I don't know why we suddenly have so much of that. That's everywhere. I don't know. But we'll get that upgraded. Hopefully they'll deal with the refuse. Should we upgrade a few of these as well? Let's do that. It won't hurt, will it? It won't hurt. How are we doing down here? The threes can come over here. Oh no, the threes may as well go down there and get a little piddly bit. Uh, the twos can come in here because they're bigger bits. <clears throat> We may as well bring the ones down here as well, actually. Let's just bring everyone down here and just, like, destroy this. Just, like... It's not a lot of food, but these, these big leaves, these 15s, they're really what we want. They're what we want. It's a bit of a waste for this level 3 media to be carrying around a single piece of leaf. Worth one leaf. But there we go. That's the way the cookie crumbles. What's this little dark... Oh, there's a bit of dropped food there. Okay. So the threes are done. They can move... Well, they might as well grab that little bit up there. Just for funsies. And then start heading in here. And then there is no food up here. There are two... Two whip spiders up there, which are two stars as well. But there's absolutely no leaf food. There is a giant whip spider down there. I thought they were full grown for a second, but this is a beast and a half. So there's a bunch of food over here protected by a couple of little bits. Spiny crickets, and oh, I don't like spiny crickets. Let me all know how I feel about spiny crickets. Not good is the answer. Not good. I really don't. I'm not even sure if the ones are worth it, you know. But as far as they're doing it now, <clears throat> it's good to have it all out, right? So where is this uber jumping spider? Look at the size of this beast. Where is? Where is this uber jumping spider? Another whip spider. Some army ants just hidden over there. Protecting those. There it is. Protected by its little minions, I see. I see. There is a big plant up there if we go over there and start working our way through that. And another one there, and then another one there. And then, oh my word, one, two, three, four, five, six giant mantises. And I know I said there's a lot of food up there, but that is, uh, that is a, that's a lot. That's a lot. Right, we're going to need to start thinking about what our next game plan is going to be. What's down there? It's 1,500 food down there. It's a chunk there, not a huge amount, but a chunk. We can probably take care of the army ants okay, and there's a lot of food up there. But then I'm wondering if maybe the army ants are tougher than they look because of that. At least we don't have anyone else stealing the leaves now. Or the leaves, I should say. There are, however, a lot of... Wait, what did they say? That did say army ants. But there are not 160 down there. See, I saw army ants, and I just assumed it meant the ant colony up here. 
I don't think there are 160 there. There must be little pockets of army ants all over the place then. Somewhere. Somewhere. Don't know. How are we doing down here? A few more of those. Lots and lots of food though. So let's get our first majors down. Don't want to go crazy with it because they cost 150, which is ridiculous, but there we go. They're all fully upgraded. Just want to double check. Refuse is doing okay. I might actually even dig out. We'll add those to the attack group. Dig out a little bit more and think about expanding the refuse site. <clears throat> Just in preparation. Because what you don't want is this red bar taking up too much space when you could be generating food. That is like the worst thing. Let's increase our leaf store. I'm not sure it's 100% necessary, but let's do it just in case. There's our first major who looks really big until you see the queen. and She's massive. Right, we're basically done. There's a little trickle of, of ones and fours and stuff, but we're basically done here. We'll let the twos go in and grab some of this, and then we'll just call this nest done. Because for the sake of... Like what, one, two, four, five, nine, ten, nine, 20, 20 food or so is not very much by the time they all uh, ransack it once at least. And in fact, it's pretty much empty. It's pretty much empty. Right, in which case, I think we'll start heading up towards these guys. There's six food there. <laughs> well, we could try sneaking up here, but there are a lot of trap jewels around. An ever-increasing number of trap jewels, you might say. There's also a lot of food up here. Not a lot really protecting it, actually. Can I get there? Yeah. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll head over here. Turn the food gather off for that group now. But where have you gone? Where have you idiots gone? Oh my word! You're dead. <laughs> Oh my word, you're so dead. <laughs> I can see I can see where they were going, but it was a uh, a daring plan to say the least. Yeah, not many of the uh, the attack group made it through there, did they? I suspect a lot of them went down this route and uh made fatal mistakes. I saw some of them actually try to grab some leaves and run away with them. Which is, yeah, it's very brave. Very brave of you. Right, we've got a whole bunch down here. Let's try and take out these crickets then, because then that gives us access to like, an almost 2,000 food up there. And there's another one down here. I'm pretty sure that's a cricket down there, but it doesn't seem to be close enough to actually uh, get involved in the fight. I wonder if he's fallen through the floor or something weird. Oh, no, they're attacking him. He's just invisible. He's just invisible. That's fine. That's fine. This is as far as the map goes for now. Let's turn on food gathering for those guys. The ones and the threes are basically done down there. So we'll send the ones and the threes up there, which sends them past all this stuff largely anyway. There's some food down there, but we're not taking on that bad boy quite yet. Well, they did a tiny bit of damage, but probably not enough to concern ourselves with. But this 2,000 food here... Oh, it's not too... It's like 1,800, 1,900, isn't it? That's going to be our, our immediate port of call. We'll get all this. Whilst they're gathering that, let's get some more mages down. Might as well go for the full seven. Upgrade some of the food stores. Let's get all of these refuse tiles made. Oh, we're definitely not using this area then, because we've just built the refuse up to here. And even if we stopped it there, they'd probably still walk up and get poisoned. So we won't use this area down here. That's out of bounds now. It has been decided. It is out of bounds. When does the tide go down for this? Like 3,000 odd food down there. 3,500 food. I want that. When, when can I have that? As they build them, we'll try and upgrade them to minimise the time that they're going back and forth and getting sort of re-poisoned. 
But you can see that it's uh, we've got a lot of refuse because of the, the majors that they're making at the moment. So we can just keep like two or three up there, just constantly spamming in uh, upgrades. And you'll see once you've got like a good amount of level threes, the, the, the speed it goes down with is um, very satisfying. Very satisfying. We are going to need some more nursery workers, really, aren't we? That is definitely something. I mean, down there would have possibly been uh, been perfect for them. But maybe we'll like put them like just off here. We don't really need it to be a, a, a suitable size or anything, so we'll just do like this. Don't know if we're going to upgrade them anytime soon. Although I think upgrading them does change the like carry capacity and stuff, so it might be worth doing for the uh, the gathering groups outside. How are we doing up here? That plant's done. That one's not far off. We'll send the rest of them down there. And then I guess we'll head over here and take care of this. Taking care of bit. You see how look that's just dropped like down to nothingness, pretty much. Love it. And I think this plant is now done as well. So, let's head over here. Turn off their food gathering. Once we have them gathered here, we'll send in the twos en masse to attack them all, shall we? Seems reasonable. We might actually be able to take care of these two. They're relatively small, which will give us access to a little bit of food down there. Just a group of spiny crickets just waiting in silence, barely moving. Knowing they are the most hated of all of the ants and all of the enemies and empires of the undergrowth. Not ants. I know they're not ants, don't worry. <laughs> I haven't lost my mind completely. Alright, that should be enough. Starter for ten, go, go, go. The ants must fight. Yeah, one's almost gone, and he's a two-star as well. Boop. 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 I might just send them straight up there, you know. Send those gathering the leaves that are there, and then just send the uh, the attack group straight up to the army ants, because I don't think they're going to struggle too much with them. <clears throat> Unless they, like, constantly respawn here. I can't see any respawn holes. A uh, sharp aura. This and nearby creatures reflect 30% of damage back to the creature. Could be quite good. Or... Duh, 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 duh. <clears throat> this and nearby creatures take 30% less damage. Nope, let's go with that one. Go with Always go with damage, right? It does seem like there are more army ants come out of nowhere all of a sudden. Am I making that up? I might be making that up. I don't know. Start gathering, I guess, my friends. Start gathering. Looks like the ones are going to go straight up here, so we'll move the threes over to this area to get this leaf. We are actually so full of leaf, I don't think we're going to know what to do with it very soon. <clears throat> so let's expand the leaf store a bit. Oh, what are we attacking? More army ants? I don't know, and it's a little bit concerning. I guess I'll leave those on... Um, yeah, just to keep spawning an army ants, look. I wonder if their attack's off, isn't it? Nope. I wonder if they'll stop once we kill these last ten, or if uh, more and more will keep spawning the longer we're here. They can't keep spawning them because it's basically an infinite XP cheat otherwise, isn't it? We've eliminated 100 out of 160, have 160, so let's see what happens. We've got second wind for the queen. Let's get rid of some of these... Some of these markers. 
I didn't mean to move them. <clears throat> I think we're okay. So let's turn on their food gather. The threes have largely finished. There's another 80 food down there. You may as well go and get that, mate. You may as well go and get that. <clears throat> it's never. Ha I've never had an enemies just spawning out of nothing. I'm surprised they didn't just put a little... Uh, spawn hole on and then just do it like 10 at a time or whatever they were doing this it's <clears throat> very unusual just for slug discord house where it's just like now there are enemies don't worry about where they came from they're they're there now it's all good we are absolutely full of food let's get some more majors Increase the leaf store a little bit because it's getting there. We do the full, why not? Right, let's get a full 19. <clears throat> That's a pretty formidable army now. Are the threes finished with this little bit of food down there? Yes, you are. So come up here and get this as well. We've almost hit this milestone as well, and then we've got the jumping spider and the whip spider. Which it says is a medium objective. The huge whip spider it says is a medium objective. So maybe we'll head over here and take care of the whip spiders next then. At least then we'll have this whole area, this whole eastern side done. Oh, in fact, we haven't actually finished the underground creatures yet, have we? We'll do the underground creatures first. That's what we'll do. <clears throat> in fact, whilst everyone is out there... Um, gathering those leaves in relative safety... Let's go and unearth this. As soon as we get all the rest of the uh, medias in. Just looking at how fast this is going down compared to how fast this is going down. I think we're all good. I think we're all good. No more upgrades down. That should be plenty. That's that's two. I mean, two thousand um, storage for that should be should be more than. If we maybe the should have let them come down got. here, but well, we're there now. Not too concerned. It should be absolutely fine. They've managed to kill uh, one or two here and there, but nothing major. Worker ability efficient brood. Workers are no longer slowed on nurseries. Okay. Movement speed increased by 40, food harvested by 10, and job completion by 2. Nice. Which leaves one creature down here. Which is you, my friend. Let's see what you are and uh, bite you in the face. Yeah? I'm guessing, of course, not a velvet worm. I was about to say, I guess it'll be a velvet worm. That would have made me look stupid. What did I... It is It is workers. It's just they have a very similar... Uh... I know because that's workers as well. That's where I was getting confused. Right, so that is that done. Let's send this group over here. Ready to take out the humongous whip spider over here. This is still submerged. At some point it's going to unsubmerge and I'm going to tear over... Oh, hold up. Hold up. Luckily, we still had all of our army in the nest. That worked out quite well for us. In that case, maybe we'll go and try and take out the... Uh The trap jaws. If you're gonna start a fight, I'm gonna I'm gonna come fighting. I'm gonna come out swinging, mate. I'm gonna come out swinging. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? <clears throat> right. I wasn't paying attention for four seconds because I saw my my daughter uh, staring a bit in her cot. Had to make sure she was okay. Turn their food gatherer off. Go and attack them on mass. Let's try and take care of these trap jaws. There's a little few sneaking past, which is annoying, but I'm hoping, yeah, they'll, they'll get caught up as they, they kill a few of them. Right, 
So these are just sort of holding them back while everyone else gets involved in these little skirmishes over here. We might be okay with these as well, you know. I don't think there's uh, there's going to be a lot down in their, their nest. <clears throat> I don't know why you're getting involved all of a sudden either. I mean... Alright. Alright, let's go down. There's a fourth nest as well. I wonder what that's going to be. Because it's not on our on our radar at the moment. Where's the queen? All the way up there. Right at the back. What a useful place to have the queen. Where's her food? This is a very big nest. It's very spread out, isn't it? And it's all like undiggable terrain as well, which I don't think I've seen before. I don't think the other nest was like that. Tiny food store, though. You could have been collecting food for so long and you chose not to. Have we seen a trapjaw queen before? I'm not sure if we have. I'm really not sure we have. <clears throat> so I think a... Oh, it's just some other little uh, piddly things. Just because it's night, I guess. I'm guessing a few things have come out because it's night. Right, let's start. I love the fact this actually breaks down into leaves then. That's really useful. <clears throat> let's start gathering some of this up. So I'm assuming we are finished over here. Yes, we are. And I'm also assuming they're going to still take this ramp up. I'm not going to do something weird like try and go around. Can you? I don't think you can. No, I think we're fine. So that's going to be like the big bad boss, that one up there, isn't it? Because <clears throat> it's like there's nothing else up there. It's just there to be attacked, basically. Right, let's go and empty out this nest. And then, uh... Yeah, Whip Spider next, right? Oh, hold on, we are full of food. That's an absolute waste. Let's upgrade some... Some of these. <laughs> Let's also upgrade these food tiles. So we've got a level three major now, which is lovely. If we do this one and this one. And then do this one and this one. Then we can get another level three. And another level three. And another level three. And we're largely out of food at this point, but it'll get there. It'll, get, it'll come back up. There we go. And there's another one. And there's a couple more we can get after that as well. So there'll be some absolutely massive majors going around. We are going to need to think about expanding our worker group, really. Which I guess is going to have to be like... I don't think I can actually fit in... Um... No, a proper 19 anywhere, unfortunately. Not until you get to there. That's the closest place. We might have to go for it just because it's going to be a nice 19. It's a bit unfortunate we lost this area and this area really to the refuse, but it's, uh, it was sensible at the time. We also have this area up here as well, of course, now. We could always tunnel up here as well and put one like... Not there, then. around there so we could come over one couldn't we we could put it like there couldn't we actually even coming from both directions maybe we'll see we'll see how are we doing down here <clears throat> the twos have, of course, finished everything there. We'll send them in there to grab that little bit. The ones are grabbing this. The threes are done in there. We'll send the threes in there to grab that little bit of four. I'm going to pretty much ignore the little groups of one. 
I'm just not sure it's really worth it like that. But the fours, let's go for this little group up here first, actually. And if we're still clearing this out when we finish everything else, and I'll send someone down to get this, what is it? One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like 11, 11 leaf. It's really, when you've got pieces of leaf that are worth 15, it's just like, is it worth it? It doesn't feel like it, does it? Do, 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 do. Right. <clears throat> Lots of food again. Let's continue upgrading these. May as well just go for it. Because we're going to be generating a lot more food yet anyway. We do need some speed tiles. May as well put those all the way down there. In fact, may as well put them all up there as well. Help out the minims a little bit. <clears throat> How are we doing? You finished there. There's a bit left in here. Threes may as well run down here and grab this. Apart from that, we are done with this nest. Trapjaw colony wiped out. How does that feel, Trapjaw Queen? I'm still not sure we've seen a Trapjaw Queen before. It's very cool. I wonder if that means there's going to be like a playable queen or something at some point. Maybe some DLC on the horizon. Who knows? Right. Let's go on the attack. The ones and threes can head over here. The twos are going to come over here and just prepare before we go down here. I'm guessing this isn't going to be too much of a problem. Once we've taken those out, turn off the together. Once we've taken those out, we'll get the ones and the threes clearing out this bit of food while the twos go and take out the giant whip spider. Whip spider. I mean, don't run, you literally just got here. Just give me a chance to show you my plan. There's quite a lot there now. Let's start heading down. <clears throat> the ants must fight. This is a really interesting level. I, I say this with a lot of the extra levels that Slug Disco do. But the, the XP, I think we've seen something similar to that before. But I don't think in quite this way, particularly the way where it unlocks ants and stuff. Um, the way that it has like a, the, the expanding list of objectives, the further you go, all this sort of stuff is really interesting. Did that lock? No. I thought that the marker locked to the enemy if you clicked on the enemy. I thought that was a new thing as well. But no. Wait, how do they get down? Oh, th via that exact ramp, yes. So that's set there as their, uh, their waypoint. How are these guys doing? <clears throat> doing okay. We're losing a few of them, but, but, almost dead. At which point we'll turn on their food gathering and they can go and destroy these plants up here for us. Wonderful, because we are out of leaf and low on food now as well. Three's all done there, so three's come down here as well and gather all of these wonderful leaf for us. Still need to get some more ants in. We need another uh, another six creatures or so. Let's dig this one out. And uh, this one as well. I'm trying to decide which is closer to the queen. They're both pretty awfully placed, really, to be honest. But if we maybe put some speed tiles up here. We'll do this one and we'll get some more uh, more minims. Uh, sorry, more uh, medias, medias up here. <clears throat> I don't know if it's medias. It's spelt media, isn't it? Yeah, it's spelt media, but I say media. It's just because there's a band which has a similar spelling to media, but there's an extra E in there and I always pronounce it media. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, but... I've just taken that on. No longer encumbered whilst carrying. That's awesome. They're the workers, right? Yeah, so they can just walk at full speed when they're carrying. That's amazing. 
How are you doing up here talking to that? You are done. So let's send you guys over here as well and really just hammer these plants. I'm going to apologize again for my cough. I don't think you've had any coughs on there, but I think you've had quite a lot of times where you've heard my like pre-intake of breath before coughing and then it just goes silent because I'm muted. So just more apologies for it. It can't be pleasant to even listen to that, that bit of annoyance. It is that time of year, though. And anyone out there who's got kids in school or nursery like myself, you know, you know, they are breeding grounds for germs and viruses. So, yeah, AJ's had, like, a, a, a permanent cough and cold since since he come back off holiday, really, actually. But, yeah, it's just, it's just really stuck there. Like, nothing's getting rid of it. So that's the whip spider done, so we'll do the jumping spider. I don't really... This this rise terrifies me. There's so much out there and not a lot of reward. We'll do the whip spider next. Didn't mean to do that, though. We'll leave the ones down. Well, there's no food to gather. Okay, everyone over here. Got a good deal of food coming in again, though, so let's expand our... We should have got the 100 now. We've got the 100. Perfect. Excellent, excellent. And we'll probably turn that extra chamber down there into another uh, 19 medias as well. <clears throat> so jumping spiders on their own are generally quite weak. So I'm not expecting many problems from them. I don't know how the uber is going to go though. Glad we managed to keep it separate from the from the initial fight. Like we didn't have to do the Uber and the other jumping spiders. Oh, really has quite a long. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> we got it on like a little ramp. Oh, we, it is on like a little ramp. We can't really surround it there, but we should be okay now to surround it. Well, they're there. Food gathering. Obviously, don't do food gathering right now, guys. Obviously, don't do that. Major problem. You're going to drop your leaves as soon as you get down there. <laughs> Hopefully get involved in this fight. Oh, it's back on the ramp again, which is a bit of an annoyance. Oh, it's back down the ramp again. It's still on the ramp though, isn't it? But it's surrounded, like, side to side at least. Let's get in there. It's killing them. Not. I've, I've seen them. Like, I think this one's going to a replacement one. Yeah, they are going down. They're not going down for it. They did take out like those all at once, pretty much, by the look of it. Yeah, but it's not killing. It's a fairly steady, fairly steady patrol of ants coming along, actually. It's killing quite a few. I take it back. It's killing quite a few, but it's gone now. So there we go. How does that feel? And whilst they're gathering that, I'm actually going to take the twos and start thinking about clearing out this, uh, this southern rise. So if we get the timing nicely done, we'll end up uh, with them clearing that just as we're ready to go on to the next plant over here and then up here and then to the... Uh, is there a plant up this one? No, you're going to go all the way up there to get the next one. Okay, whatever. Whatever. We'll give it a go. Let's start the attack. The battle has begun. The battle for the Southern Rise has begun. So these will all run away, so these are probably going to become the main problem over this area. So we'll try and take those out. We've got Super Major. Hold up, I keep pressing spacebar to pause. 2,000 food to place. 1,000 food to hatch, and you can only build one. Oh, I'm saving up for that. Oh, this idiot ended up all the way down here, look. Well, two of them did. Idiots. One of them ended up with the spiny crickets. Uh, let's build a little super major chamber. I'm gonna put it right here, right at the end. 
another new thing that Slug Disco have just chucked in. Like, surprise, now they're super mages. How are we doing down here? The threes are done there. So actually, I'll start sending the threes over there. How are the twos doing? Uh, I, I will probably lose quite a lot of ants here. Yeah, see, it's going down relatively fast because you've got the spray and you've got the spiny crickets doing their little area of effect spin attack. <clears throat> but I would hope I have enough numbers on, on the side to uh, take care of them. I would hope. I mean, they're mostly gone? Mostly, I'd like prefer if, if the rest were gone, if that's okay. <clears throat> it's really cost us quite a lot to uh, to hatch all those as well. Put a bit of our dent in our super major plans. I forgot there was like seven <laughs> massive giant mantises out there. Oh my word, this cough was like vaguely annoying before. It is now just like a. Uh, Got more invisible crickets, I noticed as well. It's now just like a constant nightmare now that I'm recording. I'm guessing the ones are probably done down here. Yes, yeah, so let's start sending the ones. Unlock super major stun. So that's using the same upgrade that we selected before. So you can't you can't mix and match. See this weird little. As they're behind that leaf, they've got this weird little, like, orangey texture square come up under them. Not seen that before. These guys are just like, oh, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. We're going to mess you up. I'm going to eat your ant faces. Your ant faces, I'm going to eat them. I would love to get the super major before we do anything else, though, to be honest. <clears throat> so maybe once they're done there, maybe we'll send the twos over here and they can do a bit of gathering. Ones and three should be getting this one, and in fact they've destroyed that one. So let's send the ones there. The threes can head down here to get this bit, and then they can go from this bit. <clears throat> we have enough to place it. And by the time we get these couple of plants, it'll be more than enough. Well, let's get it placed. Oh, I was wondering if it's going to be like a, a big tile. Standard size tile, okay. It's definitely a lot bigger. Oh my word, that's the size of the queen almost. Ooh, oh, I can't wait for this big boy to hatch. I'm putting his own group to start with because I need to see what he looks like. <clears throat> Alright, this one's done. This one's almost done. The threes are done there, so they can start heading up here. Get that last little bit of food there. The ones may as well come up here and start gathering this one. The twos. <clears throat> We've got a lot of leaf. I just need more, more, more leaf being turned into food. Come on, minims. Do your minim job. I want this bad boy over here. I want this bad boy. <clears throat> what is this? Has that always been there? Or is that like... <clears throat> it's done all enemies near the... So it's, it's a... That's an attack I can just generate at any moment. That's interesting. That's interesting. Can't let me interested. Right, we're out of food for us to gather. Oh, he should have hatched. Oh my word, he is as big as the queen. He's like our very own uber ant. That's what he is. Oh, I love it. You join this group. Is he slow or is it just because his legs don't, like he's got slower legs? Because obviously he's bigger. He's slightly slower than the other mages. <clears throat> he can be upgraded. Wait, hold on. Well, he can't, because he's... Uh... We could put speed tiles next to him. 
and then you can upgrade him, which costs, I'm guessing, 2,000. <clears throat> you have not yet acquired the next upgrade tier for this tile type. No, it's not even an option. Where is he? Oh, look at him. He's beasty as anything. Right. Looks like Mantis is back on the table, boys. Use this. Stun them all straight away. Why not? Gives us 10 seconds of free attacks. 10 seconds. Free attacks and not being eaten as well. And now we're being eaten. And look, his health has almost gone straight back up. I wonder if we need to try and, like, kite them down one at a time, maybe. Because, uh... <clears throat> this is looking like everyone's dead apart from the... Oh, no, there are some more there. But... It's not going very well. They killed the Super Major. Yeah, that's not going very well at all. Uh, abandon? Abandon. <clears throat> Are they going to follow everyone back to the base? Ones stay behind to... Uh, <clears throat> to keep them, keep them entertained, keep them busy. You are sacrificed for the greater good. Right, well, that was uh, a thousand food wasted then, wasn't it? Oh, they have come down here. They've come down here. They're going into the base. I wasn't expecting to go into the base. That caught me off guard. Okay, we're on home territory now, though, right? So this is going to be fine. This is going to be fine. We may as well just chuck everyone out. This could, uh, this could go very, very badly because we're out of food. Oh, we're out of food, we're out of leaves. <clears throat> I think we have hatched pretty much everyone all over again whilst we're waiting for this. Oh, that one of those fours was nearly dead, but it's gone. I can see we killed a couple. We just need to surround them with enough. One of the fours, another four is gone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't fail now. Don't fail after an hour and 20 minutes. Another four is gone. But this seven has killed all of the majors. We've got no food left. And we can do no damage to it without it immediately healing. Oh, I failed after an hour and 20 minutes. Oh, that's, that's gutting. Oh, that's gutting. I hadn't really picked up on the numbers at the top there. I hadn't really... So I know that I said that that velvet where I'm at the very north of the map looked like the sort of the end boss, if you like. Oh. Now, it said I got second wind for my queen, did it? What's this do? Weaken all enemies near the super major, making them take significantly increased physical damage. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe we should have gone up here and focused on getting our XP up a bit to get that before we went for those then. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. That's a bit of a pain. I'm going to start telling them to pull back, just because like, the Queen does have some sort of ability. And so if we can get... If it is... I can't remember what it was now. Is it the one which hatches all of the ants? Or gives you, like, free hatching costs for a minute? I mean, again, we've done a fair bit of damage there, but as soon as the man just eats something, it's going to be entirely meaningless. I'm guessing this isn't working, because we don't have a Super Major. Which is reasonable. Are you taking out all the minims? Or all the workers you're going for? You ate a worker and you're back to full health? You ate a worker and you're back to full health. Attack the queen. Can you attack the queen so we can get whatever her ability is, please? The queen is an imminent. Right, here we go. What's the ability we have? Because we have eggs on everything, including the, the Super Major. It hatches everything. It hatches everything. Go, stun it. Extra damage. How long does that last? It doesn't say. Oh, it's gone. It's gone straight away. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. That was so close. <laughs> That was so close. Right, everyone bundle up here and just uh, gather food up here for the minute. I'm going to turn the attack off with the ones and threes again. 
honestly, that was... Uh, I don't know about you, I was on the edge of my seat there. I was like, I've just spent an hour and 20 minutes doing this and it's all going to fall apart at the last minute. Ooh. All right, so go and get this up here. In fact, I was going to say, in fact, maybe we'll start doing this. Now, we'll let everyone go up there and as they start coming back, we'll start moving the ones and threes up here to gather this stuff. There's another area. Oh, this is part of the same, same sunken area, actually. Actually, because <clears throat> we desperately need that leaf. I think the Queen does regenerate her ability. I don't know how long it takes, though. Uh, and the last objective now is to clear the infested nest, which is an extreme difficulty, which is making me terrified when this was a hard. It was hard, wasn't it? Yeah, we got that one quite early on, though. That was our first hard objective, was to kill that mantis. And that was, that was tough. That was tough. I wonder how much food the Super Major carries. I don't see how far it went down, but I'm hoping it carries like a hundred food. I'm going to leave the ones there then, and we'll start moving the ones, uh, sorry, the threes there, and we'll start moving the ones and twos and over here. <clears throat> Which should be relatively safe. And then we'll have to start making our way up here. Clear out the infested nest. Where is the infested nest? There is a fourth one. I did. I think I'm, I noted that before when we went into the fire ant, uh, the uh, the trap jaw nest. So there is an extra nest there, but I don't know what it's for. Right, we've almost finished up here then. <clears throat> And the velvet worm is close, it can sense me. It's like, tasty, tasty ants. Full of delicious leaf. So that is actually in a quite close proximity now, isn't it? But we know that the level 7 mantis was... Uh, hard as nails, mate. It was hard as nails. I want this fuss down here as well. Oh, wait, is that... Is there water there? It's not, is there? Does it just, like, go away at certain times and I've not even noticed? Oh, so that only carries, like, 16, I think. So it only went down by 16 when it was about the time that it ate. Well, whilst we have access to this underground area, let's make use of it. I didn't even press the button, which is why I sort of paused there. I didn't even press the button, it started upgrading. I did the water just come back, it did. Ha 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 ha! Hilarious! Hilarious game. But it seems to have gone again. So I don't know, maybe we won't send the twos down there. Maybe the twos can stay up here. And we'll just send the workers down here. The water came back for like literally a second. I don't understand that. Like what's the uh, what's the mechanic which determines it? <clears throat> In fact, the twos, let's turn their food gathering off and let's just start taking out the rest of the enemies. So apart from the Velvet Worm, <clears throat> that could be a little bit tough. I don't think we're really going to have to concern ourselves with much of anything. hasn't flooded again. Okay, that's the main thing. I think this ability here is going to be... Uh, it's, it's a, they've used... It's the same uh, icon from... Hungry Spider, I think, isn't it? I 
they are absolutely rinsing their way through this. So we're going to come up here. I'm going to use the abilities for the older uh, super major up here. And then we'll save the... Uh, why did it go like that? What route is that trying to take? Stunned, taking good damage. Hopefully that'll pretty much take care of it by the time it is unstunned. Pretty much, actually, yeah. That is really useful. And then I'm going to turn their food gathering on. We'll wait for those two to regenerate and we take out the, uh, the velvet worm there. <clears throat> As long as that doesn't take them too close to it. It does come a little closer. That might just kick off. They're not careful. There's also a spawn point there, I've just noticed as well. Is the water back? Or are they just finished? They must have come back because a bunch of them died, look. <laughs> That's how you can tell. That's how you can tell. Ah, it's definitely back there. Why? What is up with the water? Like, what, is, what determines that? It's gone again. Let's upgrade some more of these. Doing that thing where it's just doing it automatically again. Whatever. Because we are filling up with food faster than we can make it, really. There's another one down here. Do I want some more medias or do I want some more majors? Hmm. And we've got a lot of food. Maybe more majors wouldn't hurt. Let everyone go gather in some food. I'm sure you guys can find some food to gather rather than just standing around there. I mean, there's, there's loads of it around. Come on. Come on now. Harvest all resources in the floodplain. That's actually come up as a, as a mission now, as an objective. I wonder if it'll start... I wonder if it won't show us the infested nest until we've done, like, all of the other objectives or something. And I do need to think about whether we're going to do... Because if it's 19 tiles, 19 times uh, 150? Yeah, 19 times 150 is like what, almost 3,000 just to get 19 of them down. We do have 3,000 food though. With 1,700 at least. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get some more majors down. Medias are probably better. But why not have slightly more majors with the super major than you do ma medias, right? Why not just go for it? Why not just go for it? <clears throat> That's what I want to know. We're almost done down here. We're very nearly finished. There's just a few little bits. I think they've... I wonder if they heart on there is actually food on the plant still. There's 272 food on the plant still. Leaf store is full. That is a fairly new one. I don't think we've seen that before, really. I think we've come close before, but I don't think we've really managed it. I never finished upgrading these... Uh, these majors, actually. There it is. There it is. There's a little tiny bit of food left there to grab. Well, that is that objective complete. Right, let's get everyone out of there. Right, send the ones over there to grab that little bit of food. The three is going to head up there to grab that little bit of food. There's nothing else around there. There's nothing else down there. So then it's just this area over here. Twos can come up here and start grabbing some of this. It's also this bit down here. Maybe I'll send the twos down there first. And then momentarily... I wonder if by infested nest it just means every creature in this map. Although there is another nest though. There is a fourth nest. I'm just looking to see if I can see... The similar, um, like nest holes. 
So it wouldn't have the ant icon on it because there's no ant queen inside, right? Which makes sense. <clears throat> but then where is it? Then where is it? Right, I think we have largely dealt with all of the food down here. And there's a little bit on this vine, actually. Maybe we'll get a little bit of this. Unless you're about to come too close. I do love your little wiggly legs. I love your little wiggly legs, my friend. So, yeah, let's turn the food gathering for the twos off, shall we? See if we can upgrade a few more of these ones. Where's my super major? Right at the back. So we need to wait for him to get up here before we really kick off the fight. So he can do his stun and uh, attack weaken thing. Yeah, you better run. You better run. Right, he's at the front at the moment. Go, 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 go. He's not so close to the front, but that'll do. Super major. The ants must fight. Super ma Super major. Super Major, come over here, please. Oh, it's gone. Straight away, look. Yeah, I think that ability, I think in particular, is uh, is destructive. Which just leaves cleared the infested nest. But I don't know where the infested nest is. Ah, right, hang on, it's appeared right next to ours. Okay. <clears throat> right, right. Send the ones over there. I think the threes are pretty much done. We'll send the, I think we'll just put the threes back in the nursery group. Because there's not a lot left for anyone to gather now. The ones we can send up here to get this little bit up here. The twos have pretty much finished gathering all of the stuff off of that one. There is 80 food right there that you're all just ignoring. I don't know why that is, but that's fine, okay. Let's go and check out the infested nest, I guess. <clears throat> Give them a chance to get rid of the stuff they've got, wait for them all to come back out. Can we put any more upgrades here? Let's do these. As long as I've got at least like 1,500, 1,000 for the super major in case he goes, or she goes, sorry. So now we have a full set of 19 uh, majors. We have 38 medias, or medias, and another 19 level 1 majors, and we have the super major. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good about this. I think everyone's now out of food. There is that 80 up there, but I don't know if there's actually anything there. Let's send them all back to the nursery group. And then the twos, let's just uh, let's go for it. <clears throat> let's go for it. <gasps> it's a level 10. The ants must fight. That's going to be tough as um, tough as anything you like. No, it's not. It's gone in seconds. All right, cool. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was expecting a bit more. We've got these invisible things again. Which have generally been whip spiders, but they don't look very whip spiders. But we'll send everyone in there first. Oh, what? This is an, a, a level 4 uber whip spider. Uh, and I meant to say um, crickets. It's the crickets that have been in there. And they, I think they are crickets. I think that's the little cricket spin attack, isn't it? We do have to be a little cautious now, though. There is one little cautiousness to bear in mind, which is we have got 400 leaf and 2,000 food. That is it. That is all we have. If we run out of that food, this one's taken ages to die. Are we even damaging it? We are. Yeah, if we run out of food, we have nothing left. That is it. That is the end of the mission. <clears throat> we have no way of replenishing that food. 
and we are pretty much out of leaf. So this 2,500 food, that is it. So I'm going to have to wait, I think, to see these replenish. I don't know if we've got the uh, oomph in us to take out this number of things at once. Probably those we could. And these we could. <clears throat> that we could. What's the last thing? A level 7 uber velvet worm. <clears throat> okay. We've at least got the stun back, I suppose. That's better than nothing, right? Let's start creeping up forward. I just don't want to get this dude involved yet. Where's my super major? The battle has begun. Don't don't do this now, Super Major. Don't do this now. Like I was relying on you to be involved in this fight. I was gonna stun these guys to Kingdom Come. But okay, we won't do that. We'll come over here and we'll take care of this dude. And then you're gonna come. Don't don't all run away. Come on, guys. I want to try to get away with not stunning... Oh, because it's a little runaway annoying thing. <clears throat> with not stunning it. I want to save the stun for the for the big old whip spider. But then the, the super mage is running away. Well, not running away. They do the thing where they uh, walk off every now and then. And in a minute, he's going to kite us right into this, uh, this uber. Don't go all the way back. He's going all the way back. They've all gone. They've, pretty much, oh, they've all pretty much disappeared now. Right, okay. <clears throat> Everyone pull back. I'm not taking on an uber whip spider without my super major. This, is, this just ain't happening. So when he comes back, that's when we're going to press forward. And then the rest of them, really... Apart from the uber velvet worm, the two fours might be a minor problem. Right, the super major's here. That's all we really care about. <clears throat> Maybe we should have waited until everyone else was unstunned before we put this attack on. Not doing quite as much damage as I might have hoped, if I'm being perfectly honest. And now, watch how fast our food goes down as we hatch new, uh, new animals. We've basically got them surrounded. We used our two attacks. There's not a lot else we could have done. There is not a lot else we could have done. <clears throat> and it's already cost us about 400. Well, I suppose it is an Uber, though. It's going to be, like, tougher than anything apart from the Uber Velvet Worm, right? In theory. It is destroying us, though. She's about 500 food so far. Let's stun it again, <clears throat> just in time for a, a nice little... Uh... Oh, what's the word? Reserve army to come in? <laughs> Reinforcements, that's the word it's looking for. Reinforcements. And pretty much now we're just going to sit and wait. I do like that these are timed so that you can get two stuns in for one weekend. I think that's quite nice. Right, so that used up almost a thousand food. Almost a thousand food. And these might be a bit of a pain, to be honest. <clears throat> I'm going to wait for them to be available until we go in. No Super Major, no Super Major, no Super Major! That has been the downfall of this mission. That is twice he has done that and left our other ants stranded on their own. Oh, I hate that mechanic so much that the way they do that. So it only cost us about 100 food, but if the Super Major hadn't ran away like that, it wouldn't have cost us any food. 
I may as well attack the Velvet Worm, because we've already got ourselves involved in this fight. I don't think these are going to be much of a problem, though. Same with these mini mantises. I don't think they're going to be much of a problem either. I might just go straight for it. <clears throat> the Super Major is on his way back. So we can get up here. I will Super Major this one up here. Like, use the abilities on it. Because <clears throat> it has the potential to be frustrating. It's only a, literally it's just a level one. We'll, we'll watch its health here. Its health goes very slowly. Okay. But even using the abilities, its health is barely going down at all. Well, I'm deeply concerned about this now. <clears throat> it's an Uber, isn't it? I've only just clicked this and I thought it was just like a lighten thing. Because it's kind of like a pale blue sort of thing. I thought it was just like lighten up under certain circumstances. I've just clicked that's actually an Uber praying mantis. That's another four, five hundred food gone. It is down to almost half health. You know, that's that's something, isn't it? Our reinforcements are coming in, which is something. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This, I don't think I'm going to make this, and it's going to be so frustrating. So frustrating. I can't even get him down under half health, you know. Can't even get it under half health. I would try to pull back, but because the Super Mage is there, he's not going to stop attacking. He's just going to carry on attacking, even if we pull back. <clears throat> so I think all we can really do is wait for this. And this has got, like, what, a two-minute cooldown? So it's taken us two minutes of solid fighting to get this down to half health. And during that time, we've used up basically all of our food, which is just soul-destroying. Because if this is this bad, that level 7 Velvet Worm is going to be worse. <clears throat> down to 300 food, 280. These abilities are not there yet. Mm -mm -mm. 160, we're gonna have literally nothing after this, if we survive this. That's it taking extra damage from being weakened, which is insane, because it looks like it's taking no damage at all. 80 food, stun it. Like, its health hardly goes down. I don't understand. Like, it's going down, but going back up again. It's been stunned. How long is its health regen when it eats something? Uh, we're out of food. So, this is this. We're not going to do this. That's, uh, that's gutting for an hour and 48 minutes worth of video. That's gutting. And I don't really know what to do a lot different. Have a lot more food in stock build more ants but then we'd have less food because your food is uh it is limited in these levels so there's nothing you can do about it there's only so many leaves on these levels and they don't regenerate and you're gonna get close but close doesn't buy you a house does it that's that's a popular saying everyone says it don't don't look it up though don't look it up though you don't need to look it up it's fine <clears throat> Two full-grown level fours and one full-grown uber seven with 42 of my uh, remaining ants. Stun yeah, these two. Fight. So these are going down quite fast, actually. But we have already lost four ants. They are gone now, but that's four ants gone. <laughs> Which is a crazy amount. So we're down to 38 warriors. They're now warriors, not soldiers. We're going to have to wait for everyone to wander back to base and then wander back here and, and regroup because we can't have, like, half of our army wandering away right now. We also need to wait for this to recharge as well. This is going to be so close. I'm going to be so disappointed if I don't get it. So disappointed. Just quick check to make sure there's no, like, little bits of food we've left anywhere. No, we literally have... There's that 80 up there that I just no one wanted to gather. 
But no, we have got every single scrap of food. So obviously not doing anything until the Super Major gets back. Even though these have recharged, there's no point if the Super Major isn't in play. Here he comes, though. Here she comes. Sorry, made that mistake a lot today. Looks like this is the end of the... Uh, oh, there's a little bit more coming in here, look. A few more stragglers. Basically, as soon as the Super Major gets there, <clears throat> we'll start pushing forward. And these will just act as, like, extra reinforcements. Hopefully, when I get there, everyone else doesn't start wandering away. Right, let's do this. Final cough for good luck. The ants will fight Stun it. to death. Weaken it now that everyone's in there. Oh, it's barely been touched. It's killed 10 of our ants immediately. How did it kill 10 ants immediately? We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Down to 12 ants. 10. If only we could trigger the queen into doing her, uh, her, uh, not royal guard, the other one. Ah, she's killed the super major. That's it. So we're going to send in some, uh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Everyone head back, because it looks like she's going to head for the queen now. Which could be our saving grace, in a way. So if this heads for the Queen and attacks the Queen, the Queen should have regenerated her, um... I really can't remember what it's called. Not Royal Guard, the other one. <clears throat> and we'll get some free hatches out of it. Why is she taking so much longer to kill... Because she attacks one at a time. How did she kill ten before, like, immediately? I don't know. Oh, the twos are still going that way, though, somehow. Yeah, here she comes. She's just going to come down to our nest. Like the fool she is. Like the fool she is. I suppose it's because they need to have a fail scenario. You can't just, like, not win because you've got no ants and no food left. You actually have to have your queen killed for it to trigger the fail um, on the level, right? So is the queen going to have her ability regenerated? And is the narrator... So this is a bit of a shame that the Velvet Worm doesn't meld through the tunnels very nicely. Oh, there we go. As soon as I say that, it's like she sorted herself out. She sort of thought to herself, I'm, I'm clipping through a wall here. I'm not having that anymore. The Royal Guard has been summoned. We've all, I don't think it is Royal Guard, actually. Right, so now the ants must protect the queen. <clears throat> we should be absolutely fine. Can we just take a second? Can we just take a brief moment in our time to look at the absolute chaos that this is? Like, is that the head of the bell? I think that's the tail. So I think the head's over here somewhere, buried amongst all of these ants. Queen's just there chilling, like, yo, what's going on? Now, surely, 62 ants. We've got them down to about half health with, with none. Let's bring all the workers into it as well. Why not? Down to 34, but she's only got a little sliver of health. 32, 28, 25, 23... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 21. I think she's attacking some workers. She is. She's taking care of the workers. 19. Oh, this is preposterous if we don't do this. 10, 5. Oh, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Oh, my God. We're not going to do it. Oh, my God. Oh my god. We had another stun left as well. We could have used that. Would have done it. If we used the stun, it would have done it. 
And I believe I saw in the newsletter you need to beat this level to unlock the Velvet Worm in free play. <sighs> I cannot believe. <laughs> One hour, 55 minutes, 35 seconds of recording. That the Velvet Worm with the, the tiniest sliver of oh, health God was slaughtered and her chambers is taking care of the Queen. That is the of the undergrowth will be so annoying. I could have been annoying if I lost it because I didn't have enough food, but to lose it like that close. And I didn't see when the stun recharged. I wasn't paying attention because I was so focused on just the little bit of health going down. Oh. Gutted. Gutted. <laughs> Absolutely gutted. Absolutely gutted. Oh, oh well, can't be helped, I suppose. <sighs> what a level, though. What a level that is. That is an absolute banger. That is an absolute banger of a level. Tough. Even on medium, that was tough. Like, how you do that on, like, hard and insane, I've got literally no idea. Because, again, you have that, that limited food situation with the, the leaf cutters. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Anyway, there's the Velvet Worm. There's the new level. We looked at the log tiles as well. <clears throat> like I said, I might do a quick look at the uh, the tutorial just as like an extra quick video, just because it's something new or I'm quite interested to see uh, the, what their tutorial mechanics are they're teaching and how they're teaching them. Because it may be that they're telling me to do it away. I've been doing it wrong for the entire time I've been playing this game, which is years now, which... Uh, as I'm sure you would all agree, it would seem to be entirely possible, wouldn't it? And at some point, we will get around to doing the fire level missions on hard, and at some other point, we'll come back to adventure and try and beat this uber velvet worm, which would be just delightful to finally get revenge on that, because that was, uh, oh, honestly... I'm kind of in this weird situation where I'm, I'm like half elated and half just like distraught. I don't really know what to feel. But I guess I feel like I should finish up. That's how I feel. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this look at this new level. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Uh, don't forget I stream on Wednesdays at 7.15pm UK time. I'm currently streaming They Are Billions. So uh, not a million miles away from Empire. So come along and say hello there. Another game that I'm not amazing at. So particularly if you've played it, uh, you can come along and give me some hints and tips and helpful pointers because I could do with them. That'd be lovely. Thank you very much. Hopefully I'll see you when I'm streaming. Otherwise, I'll see you next time in Empires of the Undergrowth. And as always... Thank you very much for joining me.